Howdy folks, I'm Brett. Image Transmission, the wireless monitoring solution for Weeble S, is a revolutionary product in almost every way. With a range of up to 100 meters and a perfectly clear video feed, it's one impressive little fella. In this video, we're going to take a look at everything you get in the Image Transmission package, how to set it up, and how to use it. Special thanks to Xeon for sponsoring this video. The new image transmission system can be purchased as part of the Weeble S image transmission package, and it will be available separately in the near future. Let's take a look at everything that's included. We get five different USB cables for connecting to various cameras. There's a mini USB cable for cameras like the Canon 80D. There's a USB-C cable for Panasonic cameras, the Canon EOS R, and the Nikon Z series of cameras. Then there's a multi-port cable for Sony cameras, which is the cable we're gonna use today. For connecting the module to Weeble S, there's the micro USB 002 cable. Then we have a transmitter mounting plate, four screws with an Allen key for mounting the plate, and of course, the image transmission module. When purchasing the Weeble S image transmission package, you'll also get three custom HDMI cables, which are the perfect length. There's an HDMI micro to mini, mini to mini, and full HDMI to mini. Before we mount this thing, it's good practice to charge the module before every use, as the performance may degrade as battery gets low. Just use the included USB-A to micro USB cable. Now let's get this thing mounted. So this little mounting plate screws right under the bottom of the Weeble S. A cool bonus here is that if you want to mount this module somewhere else, like a camera cage, there's a standard quarter 20 mount on here as well. Pretty cool. To mount it on the Weeble S, we need to pay attention to the orientation. These little guide rails and groove lock need to face outwards. Mounting the other way would be incorrect. Simply take the provided screws and wrench and screw the mounting plate onto Weeble S. Then we can slide the module on until we feel it lock into place. For the best range and performance, rotate these antennas until they face pretty close to upright. Cool. Now we're ready to connect this to our gimbal and our camera. Take the included Micro 002 cable and plug the right angled end into the gimbal here. Then plug the straight end of the cable into the module. Now let's connect our camera. Use the proper cables for your own camera system, but since we're using a Sony a7 III, we're going to use the provided multi-port cable and the Micro HDMI cable. Connecting them is pretty straightforward. Now let's power on the module. Just push and hold the power button for three seconds. You'll see a green indicator light pop up. When it's shining solid, it means that Wi-Fi is working normally. If it blinks slowly, it means Wi-Fi isn't ready yet. If it blinks fast, it means the module is turning off. Next, we'll need to configure our gimbal. But before we do that, we need to rebalance the whole setup since we've attached the module. Check the description for a link to our video on how to balance the Weeble S and get everything set up. Now that we're balanced again, power on Weeble S and head to the menu by pressing down on the jog dial. Head to camera and we'll need to scroll to the bottom and select CCS. This stands for camera control system. Press right to confirm. As soon as we do, we can see this blue indicator light pop up. When the module is connected to power and this light is on, it means the module is charging. When the light turns off, it means it's fully charged. Now let's power on our camera we'll immediately see this orange indicator light pop up and then go away once our camera's ready. When this light is solid, it means that there's no HDMI signal coming from the connection. If you continue to see this light, double check your connections or try a different HDMI cable. When this orange light is blinking, it means the module's battery is below 20%, so you'll need to charge it soon. Great, now we're all connected and ready to use the module. If you haven't already, head over to the Play Store or the App Store and download the latest version of the ZY Play app. Open up the app and navigate to the Weeble S page. Tap Connect Now and then tap Connect next to your gimbal's name. Then tap Enter Now. Upon opening the app, you'll be prompted to connect to the module's Wi-Fi. Tap Join and give it a moment to connect. If you need to connect manually, just head over to your phone's settings, then Wi-Fi, Select the module and input the password 12345678. 
Once connected, you should see the interface change. This icon lets us know we're connected to Wi-Fi. To start image transmission, just tap this icon here. With a full HD 1080p transmission, the video feed is crystal clear and virtually free from lag. Not only that, but there are a whole number of professional monitoring tools built right into the app. Tap on this menu and then tap image. Here we have a histogram, false color, zebras, and checkerboards for gauging our exposure level. Then there's focus peaking, RGB and monochrome support, and we can even load our own LUTs, which is incredibly useful. Then we have a focus magnifier. We can overlay grid lines, aspect ratios, and safety markers. We can even invert the display horizontally, vertically, or both. But that's not all. With select camera brands, you can control all of your camera settings like shutter speed, ISO, aperture, white balance, and exposure compensation. Check the description for a list of compatible cameras. Now inside the app, there's a few tools that pair really well with the new image transmission. The first is SmartFollow. SmartFollow allows you to intelligently track a subject as it moves through a scene. To activate it, just tap this icon here. Then drag a selection around the subject and let SmartFollow take care of the rest. This feature works best with objects that have high contrast and that don't become obstructed by other objects. Now back in the app, there's a few different ways we can control the movement of our gimbal. The first is the joystick control. This icon is the joystick for pan and tilt, while this one controls roll. If at any time you want to recenter the gimbal, just tap this icon here. Tapping this eraser icon will hide the user interface so you can focus on just your footage. Then there are two motion control options. Attitude control uses your phone's accelerometer to control the movement of each axis. The most fascinating method of control is a new feature for Weeble S and it's aptly called motion control. Simply put, wherever you point your phone, motion control will point your camera. There are also a lot of options for fine tuning the controls here as well. Max speed is simply how fast the gimbal will move to match the direction you're pointing. If you want to prevent an access from moving at all, just turn the speed down to zero and set the others how you want them. This is great if you only want to pan or tilt in a shot. The Smoothness tab allows the gimbal to ease into full movement speed. This can be used to reduce any jerky motions in your footage as you change directions or make sudden movements. And those are just a few of the awesome features found inside of the app. Now what makes this new image transmission system such a valuable tool is not only can we use it with the gimbal, but we can use it without the gimbal to act as a wireless monitoring and camera control solution wherever we go. Now let's take a look at how we can use this module by itself. Make your connections to your camera and power on the module. Next, we need to connect to the module via Wi-Fi. Head over to your phone settings, then Wi-Fi, and then select the module. If prompted for a password, just type 12345678. Next, we'll connect the module to the app. Open the app and swipe over until we see the Transmount Image Transmission page. A quick note before we connect. You may occasionally see firmware updates that show up for your gimbal and the module on these screens here. It's a good idea to keep the firmware on all of your devices updated before using them. Stay tuned and subscribe to the channel because in a future video, we'll dive in depth with updating the image transmission firmware, the firmware for Weeble S, and more. Now let's get back to the app. From this screen, just tap enter now. Once inside, we're met with a familiar interface. To start image transmission, just tap the icon and voila, wireless monitoring at your fingertips. What's neat is that this new image transmission can be connected to three different devices at a time. And that's not all. There's a new receiver you'll be able to pair with the transmitter. With this receiver, instead of using your phone, you'll be able to connect to virtually any external monitor that you would like. 
Now pair this receiver with the new wireless remote controller, and now you have camera control and wireless monitoring wherever you go. No phone required. Subscribe and stay tuned for an upcoming video on these cool new accessories. But that's it. That is the new image transmission system in a nutshell. A powerful new tool that packs in a boatload of features at a great price. If you guys think this is as awesome as I do, smash that like button down below. And if you guys have any questions or just want to say hi or something, let me know in the comment section too and I'll get back to you. And of course, subscribe and stay tuned because in future videos, we're going to go over updating the firmware on the gimbal, the image transmission system, and uh, even playing with some of these new accessories, which should be a lot of fun. And you don't want to miss it. Until the next one. I'll see you.